Trump. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on. 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Sugar Sean All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant all-round fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Effective punch there by Sean O'Malley. Again. What a body kick. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear the 
this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination. Walk out to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asanya. And everything's landing with so much power. Straight right hand now just misses. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Beautiful kick. Right punches there. Right hand upstairs. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight clinch. Adesanya gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he's taking. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Leg kick. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Straight right is there. Misses again with a right punch. 30 seconds now to go in round one. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Great punch. Oh! Holy smokes! Unbelievable! What a performance! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. The winner by out and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Alessandra. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier.